In order to go somewhere that you've never been, you'll need to believe things that you've not yet believed. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by the same word. My name is Andrew Hemstraut. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight's message is not for everybody. And I admit, a lot of the things I'm going to say tonight will be beyond the place where most people will be willing to believe and go. But let it wash over you and be thou exposed to something new. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 11, of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing which is the case for most people verse 12 for when for the time you ought to be teachers you have need that one teach you again which means what they've been taught it before they heard it before but they didn't go there one teach you again which be the first principles of the oracles of god so you've got the first principles what would that indicate that there's more there's second principles and are become as such as have need of milk and not of strong meat so they've reverted back to being babies basically because they need milk and not strong meat reminds me of that cat video you know for all the things that are on the internet well we're on the internet there are some good things and there there are cat videos on the internet right and cat videos there's this little kitten that they gave a raw piece of steak to a whole raw steak and boy he went after it and he was looking at it and he was chewing at it and he was ripping at it and growling at it you're like wow such ferocity out of this little guy you know little kitten though but he wanted the meat i'll put a link below and you can you can watch it for yourself but some are become as such as have need of milk and not of strong meat verse 13 for everyone that is that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a baby so if every time that you come to the table i serve you milk and not strong meat what will that make you a baby mm -hmm. a spiritual baby and most people prefer to just stay there goo goo ga ga but i'm not called to stay a baby i am called to certain things which requires strong meat and some people have never even seen strong meat before because that's why I use the illustration of that little kitten he'd never seen it before and he's like he wanted it I am called to certain things and to take you with me now several years ago I had a vision I don't know if I've ever shared it before I might have shared this once before but it was a large aircraft one of those big ones that you can put, put hundreds and hundreds of people on this aircraft was filled with people and it was going up and it and it left the earth's atmosphere and it was out going out and up and up and up and it went up towards heaven say towards heaven, towards heaven. and then you could see heaven off in the distance and at the time i was viewing this i was kind of looking at it from the outside i could see it going in and you know how big those aircraft are mm -hmm. they're huge and as it approached closer and closer to the gate of the city i could see the size and scale of how big that gate was and it was a mile high it was a mile wide it dwarfed that seemingly small aircraft as it was going through it and it was a round gate 
opaque translucent and from a distance you'd think it was round like like a pearl that's how you would describe it from a distance but back then I thought okay well these are people who've you know died and gone to heaven right in this great aircraft that was taking them there but today I realize that's not the case because people when they go to heaven they go by themselves they don't go as a group and I basically thought God was just showing that to me because of the scale of it to see the size of that actual gate how big it was compared to this very large aircraft but I know now you get more information as you mature I know now that it wasn't just for scale and the size of the gate and these weren't people that had just died and were going to heaven as a group but these were people that I'm bringing with me these are people that I'm bringing and if you can receive it back again Jude verse 14 and Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these saying behold the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all so these are ten thousands of people that have gone there and that are going to return say return, return. with Jesus well in order to return they have to go there first and Revelation chapter 20 and verse 4 and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them these people that are returning talked about Jesus returning when they return they will be given thrones and judgment will be given to them they lived and reigned with Christ 1,000 years lived and reigned with Christ 1,000 years so they've got some youth renewal working for them right yeah. so these people are people that have learned to access and operate in the powers of the world to come can you see that well they've obviously got youth renewal working they've obviously figured out how to go there and come back and you know that's a very scriptural thing I've preached on this many times you ever remember me preaching on this Enoch is a type of the last day church what did Enoch do he went up and he came back he went up and he came back and he went up he stayed there but what is he also gonna do come back he's a type of the last day church so these people are people who have tasted of and operate in the powers of the world to come have you heard me preach on the powers of the world to come yet I'm going to be doing it more and more and what what are we supposed to be doing we're supposed to be tasting of the good Word of God and of the powers of the world to come and what will that make us that will make us these people unless you don't and then this message isn't for you anyway and Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ let us go on now for him to say let us go on it must mean that some are going to go on and that some are not going to go on is this okay it better be okay with you verse 3 and this we will do if God permit well up until now God hasn't really permitted these things that I'm talking about because up until now people weren't at this point in this dispensation we're at the end of the Holy Ghost dispensation and we're beginning to see over into the next dispensation which would be the world to come and this we will do 
are you here can you see that you have to be willing to do this what if you aren't willing to do it you're you won't do it but I would suggest that God won't permit it then if you're not willing to do it and then verse 4 for it is impossible for those who were here and then we start with a list once enlightened tasted of the heavenly gift were made partakers of the Holy Ghost verse 5 and have tasted of the good word of God and the powers of the world to come this we will do this list ends up with have tasted of the good word of God meaning you've learned to say the word of God you have a taste for it and the powers of the world to come and when does this say you're gonna have this taste for the word of God and the powers of the world to come only in the world to come no it's it's now we're going on to the world to come and it's by these means that we get there are we here these people are those who have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come and I've preached on this at length and probably will do even more so but the powers of the world to come are those powers that power the world to come number one speaking God's Word can we do that now yes, yes we can taste it number two would be youth renewal because these people are, are going to live for a thousand years can you see that that will be in the world to come are we to taste of the powers of the world to come now yes that's what takes us there remember we're going there How about prosperity in the world to come think heaven how is it in heaven is there any prosperity in heaven is there any youth renewal in heaven and then we have number four would be thrones we read that right in Revelation chapter 20 thrones and judgment given to them thrones and judgment indicates governments he's setting up people with thrones a throne is a form of government trying to make this as simple as possible so these people will be at the head of these governments that are set up is it a power of the world to come when are we to begin to begin partaking of these powers of the world to come now thank you let us go on this we will do does that mean everybody will no not everybody is going to get on that airplane those who are with me are going to go on remember in order to go somewhere that other people haven't gone you have to believe something that other people haven't believed and that other person might have been you you didn't believe this before but you're beginning to believe something that you didn't believe before that's why I said you need to let this wash over you a lot of the things that we were taught in our denominational churches seemed odd at first but they washed over us for years and years and years and pretty soon we just believed it yeah well I'll be raptured well it just will come a time and we'll either be on the train or on a bus or driving a car we'll all start floating up into heaven and most of the church just believes that right but I start talking like this that we're supposed to partake of the powers of the world to come and be translated from one glory to another glory Enoch style that's not something that we were taught or heard how could we believe it but in the room of Holy Ghost worship you begin believing things that you didn't believe before does this make sense yes. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 9 there remains therefore a rest to the people of God for he that is entered into his rest he hath also ceased from his own works as God did from his let us labor therefore to enter into that rest lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief where is the rest the rest is in belief 
you have to labor to get into the belief in John chapter 6 verse 29 Jesus answered and said unto them this is the work of God that you believe right this is the work of God you need to enter into the rest you need to enter into belief and in this belief is the work of God and John 14 12 says greater works than these shall you do which requires a greater belief the powers of the world to come are greater works can you see that the powers of the world to come would be greater works so we have to have a belief in those powers of the world to come stay with me healing is good but youth renewal is greater because it renews you to back before you even got sick prosperity is good what's greater wealth powers of the world to come listen this is really all i'm trying to get across here this isn't that difficult powers of the world to come are greater works and we are to enter into those greater works okay through what mm -hmm. belief but if we don't believe we can't go there let us go on and this we will do and we do it by tasting the good word of God having the good word of God in our mouth and the powers of the world to come you obtain them obtain what the powers of the world to come you obtain the powers of the world to come you might not know what they are all yet is that correct but we're seeing over into there and as we see them and believe we can obtain them and start walking into them you obtain it you carry it it's like baggage that you carry and you put on the plane with you second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believed remember we're talking about belief you remember that mm -hmm. I believed and therefore have I spoken we also believe and therefore speak tasting of the good word of God and the powers of the world to come we have to believe and speak them go down to verse 18 while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen yet for the things which are seen are temporal or temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal the eternal things of the age that is to come the world that is to come they're eternal things eternal youth renewal eternal wealth eternal housing while we look at the things say things Amazing. they're things they're actual things they're eternal things and we're looking at them they're powers of the world to come the powers of the world to come are actual things that we obtain that we carry that we walk in there are baggage there are luggage that we walk with first Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world no but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that who might know the things that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God verse 13 which things also we speak we're tasting of the good word of God we're speaking the good word of God and the things the powers of the world to come I hope you're getting some of this first Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 7 but the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man 
to profit with all that's the King James I happen to like the amplified Bible here it says the manifestation of the Spirit is given to every man for good say for good, good. and profit for good and profit we were looking at the eternal things we're obtaining the eternal things the powers of the world to come and when are we doing this we're doing it now the manifestation is given for good say for good for good you ever heard of that mm -hmm. for good it's like you get it for good it's yours for good it's yours for keeps I mean that's it it's eternal mm -hmm. stay with me we have manifestations of the Spirit that are temporary but these manifestations are the manifestations that are for good powers of the world to come are you getting this mm -hmm. that's the end game we're playing the end game are you here mm -hmm. you know your strategy becomes different when you're at the end of a game and God the Holy Ghost quickens us makes us alive Does this sound right he quickens us makes us alive according to the words you speak and to that degree what if you're speaking according to the good word of God and the powers of the world to come what do you think you get that what if we're not exposed to this what if we don't believe this then we can't go there Psalms 119 verse 25 quicken thou me according to thy word and here this is a declaration verse of scripture he's saying quicken thou me right he's saying it quicken thou me according to thy spoken word the Holy Ghost as God will quicken you according to his spoken word so how about Deuteronomy 818 it is God that gives me power to get wealth say it is God, it is God. that gives me, gives me power, power to, get to get wealth what is the Holy Ghost going to quicken you according to that word that you just spoke Amen. and his word by the way is eternal it is a power of the world to come and it will take you there that you just said your tasting of the good word of God by saying it did we say that there was wealth in the world to come God gives me power to get world to come wealth let the saying of his word take you there it will take you there where you need to be the world to come is your future and saying God's word is what powers your future well now let me ask you a question if you are tasting of the good word of God and the powers of the world to come is that going to have an effect on the world that you're in right now yes yes would be the answer mm -hmm. every advancement in the powers of the world to come that I've been talking about disrupts that kingdom and here is the end for good literally this is how we will end it Daniel chapter 7 and verse 26 but the judgment shall sit now do you remember those people coming back and they were given judgment they were given thrones they were given kingdoms the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion and consume and destroy it unto the end verse 27 and the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven where would that be right here. on earth shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high god whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom an everlasting kingdom means it's eternal we've been talking about that powers of the world to come and all dominions shall serve and obey him 
verse 28 hitherto is the end of the matter that's how it ends so the kingdom and the dominion and the thrones and the judgment are given to the people of the saints so listen every advancement that you make by tasting the good word of God and experiencing the powers of the world to come disrupts the kingdom that we're in right now in the earth the kingdom and dominion and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High God mm -hmm. hitherto is the end of the matter this is how it ends powers of the world to come tasting them partaking of them walking in them takes us here and this is where I'm going and I'm called to take you with me let us go on this we will do Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people that they have heard things tonight they may not have ever heard before but let it wash over them that they may begin to hear anew read verses of Scripture anew let the new light of this end day the last day enter into them that we may be caught up with you and then return and establish what we are called to do in the earth in this day in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today and I get to taste your good word by saying it and experience the powers of the world to come in this day in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God